Yesterday, out of nowhere, Elon Musk's XII dropped Grok 4, a next-gen AI model designed to rival GPT-5, which, by the way, OpenAI is planning to release in August for free. Yeah, free, as in, you pay with your data instead of dollars. It's 2025, and Silicon Valley billionaires are handing out AI like it's candy before an election year. It is July 27th, 2025, and you're watching the daily dose of AI. While Sam Altman is out here trying to give everyone access to GPT-5, possibly as part of his Let's Not Die From AGI campaign, Elon is busy injecting Grok with political hot takes and Twitter drama. Sorry, X drama. Right now, it's less of a race for AI dominance and more of a middle school roast battle powered by billion dollar GPUs. And in case you missed it, Grok 4 is XAI's latest large language model, baked into X, formerly Twitter, formerly tolerable, while GPT-5 is open out, AI's long-awaited follow-up to GPT-4 Turbo, promising more speed, better reasoning, and, reportedly, more hallucinations with confidence. But here's the thing, both models are being positioned as free for all, but they're not really free, you're just the product now. Over the last few months, OpenAI has been playing defense after some high-profile GPT-4 trust issues, hallucinating citations, broken memory, and of course, Sam Altman being fired by his own board for 48 hours. Meanwhile, Elon went full speed with Grok, firing up an AI that not only writes jokes, but political endorsements. Oh, and Google just quietly rolled out Gemini 2.5, which nobody noticed because they were too busy watching Grok argue with Trump on X. In short, 2025 is peak AI chaos. Let's break this down. GPT-5, launching, August 2025, rolling out first to chat GPY free users. Yes, free gets the good stuff now, crazy. Context, length, estimated 256, K tokens. That's a whole PDF of the US Constitution and still room for Reddit threads. Multimodal. Text plus image plus video understanding. Built in, but with delayed rollout for video. Speed. Faster than GPT-4. Turbo. Thanks to model distillation and maybe a blood sacrifice. Memory. Always on memory. Your chats actually stick this time, unless you're talking lawsuits. Cost. Free tier. Chat GPT Plus. Optional at $20 per month for priority. Grok 4. Soft launched this week available via SuperGrok at $30 a month, or what Elon calls access to truth, and what everyone else calls the everything app tax. Context, length, unknown, but according to Musk, it's longer than your average attention span. Multimodal, I tried Grok Vision, it can generate images decently well, kind of like Midjourney's rebellious cousin. It doesn't do video yet, but give it a weird prompt and it'll still cook up something meme-worthy. Political alignment. Uh, complicated. Let's just say it doesn't shy away from controversial questions, and it might refer to Trump as a misunderstood genius. Access. Only inside the X app, which is like making a five-star chef cook inside a gas station. Real Talk GPT-5 is shaping up to be the apple of AI models. Clean, polished, good at pretending it's neutral. Grok is the android with root access, saying whatever it wants and occasionally lighting itself on fire. This battle isn't really about AI, it's about who controls the narrative. Elon is using Grok to turn X into a political weapon with jokes. Sam is using GPT-5 to embed open AI deeper into your digital life, your browser, your docs, your cat's vet records. Developers were stuck choosing between a supermodel LLM that's overtrained on polite society, GPT-5, or a chaotic memelord AI that thinks factual accuracy is subjective, Grok 4. And let's not forget, Apple is reportedly working on an on-device LLM, which means soon even your iPhone will have an opinion about the 2024 election retroactively. Here's the takeaway. If you're a dev, GPT-5 is your best bet for building apps, bots, or assistants that don't insult your users. If you're a chaos agent, Grok is the ultimate sandbox, just don't expect stability. Both models represent a major shift. AI is no longer a premium product, it's a political tool a social weapon, and a meme generator rolled into one. Whether that's good or horrifying, no one really knows. But hey, at least it's free now, right? Stay tuned for more.